Hi everyone. Um, as usual, it's been a little while, but a lot, a lot has been happening. So quick update now that there is only 13 days until uh, Miss Fit Bikini um, model pageant is is here so um i gosh where do i begin you might notice i've had my floors redone this used to all be carpeted um so that's a massive just weight off my shoulders carpet with animals is just not nice so i have done some home improvement which is just as good as a holiday change as they say um I have also a week ago walked across the stage at my university graduation. Um, so I've received my Bachelor of Marketing Communication. In that time, I've also been accepted in a Master's of Communication, um, which I, assuming all going to plan, which we all know sometimes in life it doesn't, but all going to plan, I should be receiving my qualification there by May 2025. I think it works out. So I've been able to get a whole lot of credits um, to shave some time off, which is just massive. Um, my job, and because my job role has grown quite rapidly, very excitingly. Um, but yeah, it does just mean that I can't take time off work to study. So <laughs> whatever type of time I can buy doing my studies um, while continuing to work is... I'm always looking for options and I think this is my best one. So that's really great. Um, what else? Now, it, there was a bit of a rough patch. Um, I honestly can't remember if I touched on it in my last video, but it got a bit rough for me. Um, I, don't, I don't cry about my situation. I don't like people to necessarily feel sorry for me. I want people to feel inspired, not sorry for me. Um, but I started feeling a little bit sorry for myself. This whole new phase of vulnerability that has come out in me sharing my complex regional pain syndrome story has been really hard. Um, so there's been a few, you know, phone calls to um, the lovely Miriam of um, FBME as well as Sammy who was brought along as like the nutritionist for us ladies and lots of phone calls to them just all of a sudden thinking that I'm not good enough, not worthy. And that was really, really crap. But in true FBME style, these women have just empowered me to keep going. I've even started a fitness and nutrition regime with the gorgeous Sammy who I was fortunate enough to meet when I was in Adelaide. Um, she's a legend. So really excited. This is my second week doing her program. I've already had some massive, massive weight loss. Weight loss that I wasn't necessarily striving for, but I'm so amazed and motivated to keep it going. Um, I, as usual with in my life, with a few, you know, um, speed bumps and falls, for want of a better word, there is a lot of positive stuff. And it is important that whilst it's not right, like I'm here to be authentic. So whilst I don't romanticize it, I think my message is just that whole, just keep swimming. Uh, the tough times aren't forever. In my case, I certainly thought they were going to be my forever. Um, I just graduated from uni for Pete's sake and got accepted into a master's degree. So I think whilst everyone's story is different and the time frames that all of this would be happening would be different and please don't compare yourself to others. Um, but it is important to know that, you know, in everyone's tunnel there is light at the end. So um, for me, actually taking the FBME stage has become so much more momentous than I thought it would. I saw myself as quite a confident person. But being vulnerable has probably frightened me a bit. Um, and I'm kind of, you know, on social media, you can post something and delete it, um, which, you know, kind of you got that bit of protection or... If you're feeling a bit in, insecure about something, you can literally put a filter on it. Um, but 
you know, on stage. This is it. My feet haven't been coping in high heels. The pain, particularly in my left foot, where I've had sort of the ball of my foot hollowed out um, in surgeries. Like, it's just not coping in heels. After grad, oh, I was nearly in tears because obviously I was in high heels for the whole day. Walked across the stage, didn't fall. That was huge for me. Um, so I'm terrified about the condition of my feet for pageant. Um, I don't think my left foot's even really recovered since the city to surf. Um, so just my fear has gone to a whole new level. But I just keep telling myself that whole the right person's going to see this when they need to see it. Um, and just as Maya's in Take Care of Maya and her story, which I've spoken about before on my socials and on my YouTube, her story is also now in front of the courts. There's a lot of positive change I can make about CRPS. Um, whilst I have a very modest social media following, I have gained 100 new followers um, recently, organically. And a lot of the feedback I'm getting is like, holy moly, like, thank you for sharing your story. And I think that that's all I'm needing to push on, get up on stage. Even if I make a fool out of myself because I trip or my ankle goes or I just, I need to do it for myself, for others and just to honor everything. Like just be on that stage is like a bit of a capstone in my whole journey um, of suffering and being able to overcome complex regional pain syndrome the way I have. So I guess as usual, just an update that life is great, but just as it is great, it's been challenging and it's normal. Just keep swimming. Just keep persevering. I receive a lot of help. I have a lot of support networks, friends, family, the pageant team, medical professionals, psychologists. I'm lucky that I have all these resources available to me, which is a big reason why I've seen, you know, success in my journey. And I just encourage anyone out there, find your people because um, it is amazing the type of difference that they can make in your life, um, which in turn, it all helps, right? So as I always say, my socials are open. My messages are open. Hit me up. Ask me questions. Be anonymous even, um, but let's let's do this. Next time I speak to you, I'm thinking I'll do another video just before pageant. Get a get a real feeling of how I'm feeling. Um, record it all. So I'll be on a plane in, gosh, I think it works out in 10 days. And then on the stage in 13 days. So... Stay tuned for the wild ride. Be watching my content. Be, you know, wrapping your head around complex regional pain syndrome. And just be empathetic to people around you because you never know what they've been through or are going through. They're probably my biggest takeaways um, from the last few weeks. So, as I always say, it's a wild ride. And just thank you all for for being on it with me. Let's do it.